We're going to kick things off with Mikwin's point of view right now. Dave, King of the Hill lockdown. What do people need to be controlling here, and how do they win this game? Snipe Tower and PR Tower. Uh, Strongside and I have some differing views on which hills are most important. We do agree that the, the bottom snipe hill is without a doubt the most important. But after that, we have differing views because I believe bottom center is the hill that you can scrap up more time, whereas Strong Side believes the top B hill you can scrap more time. Now, the way our, our views differ on that is in bottom center, you don't have to have some sort of full setup or full control in order to get time, you whereas to top B hill you do. First point. Fair enough, fair enough. Eight, and, and Coming off of the back of that one, this is where, for me, I'm actually quite surprised people are going for the air hill, if I'm honest. That one, he's like, well, they the have one a full set right now, so if you get kills, if you have sniper tower and BR tower, you can grab any hill you want. Even if you can technically even grab the C hill if you want, because they have to lift up into the hill where they're just sitting ducks. What a shot from Mick when he backed off, poked in, poked out, took down the player. Using the pro combo so to his advantage, aggressive. finally gets taken down. He was being a bit of a pain in the ass there. They couldn't actually push him down, but that's giving the advantage to Chig. Unfortunately, wastes three bullets, doesn't hit a single one. He's going to be near enough one shot. Grenade comes in, he's definitely one shot now. If someone takes him out, looks across. Four, five, six bullets, no kill from it so far, will she? Just a rough start with the snipe, but despite that, Denial's still grabbing time. They got six, seven seconds so far out of this top B hill, and uh, even though he's not landing these shots, his team is making good work, and so that's always a good feeling. If you're on a squad that I'm not destroying, I'm not on a huge spree of sniper, and you're still having a lead, you got a lot of confidence in your team. So he's only got two bullets left, but just as I say that, tournament update, Winter Fox beats Team Liquid 3-0 to secure top six. Unfortunately, that's going to see Team Liquid exit in the tournament, but I can, I can see big things for them in the future, definitely. Yeah, I, I mean, we've seen some some great moments from Liquid. They uh, they had some great matches, but at the same time, just I can't be too surprised with that result. Winter Fox at the at the three team land in Sacramento. Every single time they play against Liquid, they've won the best of eleven series. So just given by those stats, Chick drops the snipe with one bullet. He must have not realized there's at least one bullet left in there because he saw it. He saw yeah. the weapon for a second. Says, you know, too late. Already already made my decision. Need to run around and find it. Personally, I'm a fan of actually grabbing this AR. I think this AR is pretty underused. Something like this. We take down Sorg. Unfortunately, not. It's not that powerful. But just about to say, with the AR grabbing that, sometimes it can do a lot of damage, especially from when people are charging at close range. It's, it's quite a nasty weapon. Yeah, absolutely. Um, if I'm charging across the top center like that, but I, I would take a sniper with one bullet over full AR. Just a, just the fact that you can get a no scope, that you can do massive amounts of damage across map, and yeah, I just think it's just the weapon. That just the weapon to have in every situation. All right then guys, approaching the nine minute remaining mark, 35 to two the score, but they do have this D hill rotation. They've got it locked down. Captain Flamesword's gonna go in, charging up his new combo. Personally, I love the new combo. It's a bit like anybody, but this map isn't the best one for it. However, when some people come around that corner, you can just quite easily fire that, smack someone in the face. He, 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 he got the hit marker, he yeah. got the hit marker, so he's one shot, and he tried to just desperate and charge over there, but too little, too late. He got picked off by the other members of Denial. Indeed. He, oh, that should have been a back smack in my opinion, but nevertheless, the assist comes in from his teammate to clean it up. They're going to get some good hill time. If they can get all this, they'll manage to uh, uh, re get the lead, but they go down, unfortunately. Look at it now across. Flamesword's going to jump in. Two people are going to push across now to kind of seal that one off. But Chig moving across back to B, B on three right now. I like this play, play though because he realizes there's two options for optics to spawn. They can spawn bottom blue where they aren't going to be much of a threat because they get killed on elbow. Or they can spawn yeah, library where they can push top center. And so he gets BR3 and he shuts down library completely. But I, we all know that BR3 is it is a power play position on this map. Without oh, question. The sure. amount of times you can do it. And I always find that teams tend to get a hell of a lot of time when that BR3, when, when it drops up there. You get a hell of a lot of time, but at the moment he's in what we mentioned before, underneath bottom glass. Maniac grabbing sniper, looking down. There's going to be Captain Flamesword running into the hill. He needs to do some damage here. Does Maniac with this sniper looking for anybody running out of underneath green? Checking elbow. Someone just dropped down from BR2 to 1. Looking, hits the guy in the leg. That's going to push him back and give Flamesword a little bit more time. Finds two guys down on sword spawn. Another person jumps in. That three people on sword spawn. Gets a blind shot. I actually think he got hit markers there, possibly. Uh, I find, yeah, he may have, but it's just so weird because you 
can only see the head right there. It just yeah, seems like the they're coming from sword ramp. So I find it hard to believe that he still got the hit marker because the only thing he could really gotten there was a pure head shot. Looking at it now, one second remaining. That's going to move across, checking up and ramp to see if anyone's going to go up to BR3. If they do, they'll be getting a bullet to the face, which they do from the sneaky side. Oh, but unfortunately, he goes down. Someone Ooh, goes up hit. for the sniper. Throwing a grenade in now on board with Chick. He's managed to get some hit markers on that player there. Will he challenge it? Unfortunately, yes, he does. He goes down. Looking at the air hill, but just look at that scoreline, Walshie. 51 40. It's pretty much neck and neck all the way. Yeah, anyone's game. Any single hill on this map can turn that around instantly. I found that it, to be an interesting play, though, uh, from Chick, where instead of opting to charge up to Snipe, where they knew Sniper was, they knew they killed Snipe, Snipe 3, he decided to stay in hill for some time, so I gotta wonder about that decision because he had to realize that if he was somehow able to get over to Snipe 3 and be successful, he was gonna get Sniper control and possibly get a full setup. However, he must have uh, had some more information to our call us teammates and just realize you know what saves play for me right now? It's just a scrap of a few seconds. But as we say that, he's guarding the library with his life. The B Hill has come up in BR Tower, but I, I actually thought there was somebody there to pick up the time, but clearly not. Assault throwing a grenade, unfortunately, at himself. Didn't mean to catch the wall. They're going to rotate up on open side. Will anybody see him though? That's going to be Chig. Gets two bullets to the face. Hein comes into support. Will he get the four? Hines gets put down. The, the actual assist medals, that's going to be also Chig going down. B Hill now Ooh, in the hands of Assault. Not only B Hill, but they have Snipe Tower under control well as well. So this is going to be the perfect setup. They're going to spawn at bottom blue. If they lift top blue, Assault's just going to nade him and just destroy him. If they push elbow, Assault can help his teammates over there. In the end, you can expect Optic to take the lead and scrap up a good chunk of time right here. And it's exactly what you said. It's playing out in the exact same manner. The only thing they need to be aware of, if those stalactites have spawned above the heads. Oh, yeah. Plenty of that times people forget triple. about it all the time. But we've seen it quite a few times where it'll come down and crush people's dreams, quite literally, looking over now at Sea Hill. Sea Hill's an interesting one for me because you can just nade it out. What's your thoughts on it? Yeah, I don't think Sea Hill is is very worth going towards. Um, it, if uh, you have frag grenades, like you said, you can bank them from pretty much any location, whether it's library, whether it's snipe tower, or anywhere on VR tower. You can bank them across the back wall, and people are generally hiding behind those little front pillars. So I don't like Sea Hill. I like to use this opportunity to take control of snipe tower and set up for the D Hill. Because even if you're able to get a few seconds in that previous hill, it's not worth it because a full setup on D Hill, you can get 45, 50 seconds. All right, so we just hit four minutes, 20 remaining, 71 to 61, a very fragile lead for Optic Gaming, only 10 seconds, Walsh, what are you seeing? And just as I say that, you notice that Denial, they're opting for that strategy. We see Chig and Mikwin both at Snipe Tower trying to set up for this D Hill. They said, we don't care about those few seconds in C Hill, we can just get all this time here. And that's an interesting charge from Mikwin, just trying to get different eyes and obviously got an assist kill right there. So. Whatever Mikwin, whatever Mikwin flank right there he did is just uh, just kind of blew my mind because I don't think he should have pushed out Snipe Tower, but he he's a top player for reasons, so I won't question it. But what a quick scope. Text the guy down at BR3 and made it look easy. Looking for anybody else who wants to poke out of library. But all this time that we've been talking about this, Dave, they're just racking up, you know, Greenwall are racking up time in that hill. He's been there killing people from Snipe Tower, but they're in Snipe 1. Look, he's just, they're not getting them out. Yeah, and uh, I like that play from the Greenwall because what they're doing is they say, hey, he's got Sniper up there. Why not make him come down to us? He's, uh, there's no reason to charge up and challenge Mikwin. Mikwin's going to have some sort of high advantage, and now he has Sniper and Sword. I'm questioning if he should jump and scout these few seconds. Oh and get my word, what a shot. Text the guy down on open side. That was, that's the second quick scope he's pulled off straight across map. Again, Mikwin doing some serious work right now. You mentioned over the sword, he has both weapons. E Hill is incoming. They do have a player under glass. That's going to be APG misses that shot. However, they're going to start racking up a little bit of time now. And Nade banks off. I believe APG has been hit. He is damaged. Mikwin goes in. Killing spree now for Mikwin. Doing damage with the power weapons, Dave. So, yes, it's awesome that Mikwin got a killing spree. But this entire time, Optic has actually come ahead in time. They've closed the deficit or actually extended their lead more than uh, Denial's been grabbing time. So, as impressive as his shots were, as impressive that killing spree was, in the end, Optic is playing the smarter match. They were the ones grabbing Hill, 
in, do in the D hill. They're the ones grabbing time in bottom center, and they're the ones that are winning this match right now. But in a position like this, is he doing the right thing, or is he doing the wrong thing? Obviously, he's getting the kills, so does that mean his teammates aren't getting the hill because he's getting the kills, or should he be moving to a different position? I, I think that you would have to put it on his teammates, because when you have one of your teammates that has sniper or sword, you can't expect them to jump in the hill. Um, that's more of a desperate situation where all four are dead, you should scrap up time, because those power weapons are so valuable, you can just go on so many sprees by sitting with sniper and sword at the snipe tower. So I don't blame Mikwin, and I said that they were impressive kills, but I'm just saying that Optic was outplaying them over those past two minutes. And it's kind of worked. One minute 40 remaining on the clock, 103 points to 74. He knows there's someone right now up at that BR3 tower, A Hill. No one's took any time. You don't really want to be touching right now because you will get shut down instantly. Maniac, two shots at him, looking at BR2, putting more shots. But Fresh Sniper comes up, but there's a, a sticky nade landing on the floor. That's going to be Sword and Sniper transitioning into the hands of Flame. So looking across, knocks Jig out at the top of the lift. Will he move across? Should he stay or move across, Walshie? I think he should just stay. He has Sniper Sword at Snipe Tower. He could single-handedly hold that down, and even if Denial somehow was able to take over BR Tower, he could just snipe him out of the hill. But moving across, he's basically transitioned. basically forced Denial to have to set up a full setup. Whereas right here, if Denial takes over BR Tower, they can have the game. Oh, he misses. He hits one, misses the other two. He does have back pocket sword, though. But they're getting the hill time. They're doing what they did before. He dies right here. This is dangerous. Denial can win this game. But he doesn't. He sees it through, jumps off. I think that's going to be Sword and Sniper going off the map. But you called it, Walsh. This could be Denial Esports coming back into it. APG's up there. They need to take him out. They need to take him out now, which they do at the moment. Moving down to his last few seconds, 30 seconds on the clock. 106 points to 83. They need to rush this. They really need to rush it quick. Yeah, and I think they just gave up right there. You see Heinz just melee in the air, not really jumping around. He says, we need to be in hell two seconds ago, and we are too far away. And that's going to be it. Optic Gaming 2-1 up yes. against Denial Esports. They're going to tick game number three. Wow. Personally, didn't see that coming. I've got to be honest.